What, raccoon eyes? Why are you bothering me? Obviously, I'm busy. I don't have a pile of textbooks in front of me for no reason. What do you want? Because you wouldn't be standing here if you didn't want something. So just come out with it already and stop wasting my time. Help you with what? Is it your homework? God knows you could use some help with that. I'm not being mean. It's just a fact. You suck at studying. And taking notes. And paying attention in class. That's why you did so bad on the last exam. The laundry room? Do you seriously not know how to use the washer? Are you that incompetent? Well, if you know how to use the washer, then what? Oh, no, no. I am not helping you fold your damn laundry. Forget it. If that's what this is about, then get lost. Then just tell me already and stop making me guess. A spider? You've got to be kidding me. You're in the goddamn hero course, training to become a pro. And you can't handle a spider? So what if it's big? Kill it. Then it's not big anymore. Problem solved. All right, all right. Quit whining. God, I hate when you do that. Ugh. I will go kill the damn spider if it will get you out of my hair. Are you seriously not coming in here? You're such a baby. All right, where'd you see this dumb spider? The corner? Fine. I don't see the spider. Where exactly did you see it? Hey, raccoon eyes. Where did you see the damn spider? Hey, what the hell? Open the goddamn door, raccoon eyes. This isn't funny. The hell do you mean you aren't letting me out until I figure things out? Look, you better open this door right now or I swear I'll blast it open. Obviously, I'm not trying to piss off Mr. Aizawa. You're the one who locked me in here. So if I break the door down to get out, it's your fault. Oh no. If I'm getting in trouble for this, I'm taking you down with me, you sneaky pain in my ass. Figure out what? What the hell is it you think I'm supposed to figure out in here? I am not emotionally constipated. Where the hell did you even get that idea? I'm great. Better than great. I'm the best at everything. Mm. Get back here, raccoon eyes. I'm serious. I will kick your ass. <sighs> this is the last time I ever do something nice for her. There's got to be some other way out of this stupid laundry room. Ugh. Come on, Katsuki, focus. Figure it out. None of the vents are big enough to crawl through. And of course there's no windows in this room. What about the room with the dryers? Ugh. Damn it. Nothing in here either. You've got to be kidding me. Ugh, this sucks. Ah! Quit yelling. What? I'm yelling because you're yelling. What the hell's your problem? I snuck up on you? No, you've got that all wrong. I walked in here like a normal person. Not my fault you weren't paying attention. You had headphones on? That explains it. No wonder you didn't say anything when I was yelling at raccoon eyes. Yes, I mean Ashido. Ugh, sneaky little shit. She said she needed me to kill some big-ass spider, but it turns out it was just a damn trick. Yeah, she locked me in here. Guess you're locked in here now, too. I obviously already thought of that. Mr. Aizawa is pissed enough about me blowing up the couch last week. If I blew up the laundry room door, too, guarantee I'd get a lecture. Probably even stick me on house arrest. Which I cannot afford to happen. Which means we're stuck in here until Raccoon Eyes decides to let us out. How the hell should I know? She said I needed to figure things out because I'm emotionally constipated or whatever. So stupid. I'm perfectly fine. I have zero emotional problems I need to work through. Look, 
why I blew up the couch isn't your business. So keep your damn nose out of it. Ugh. What are we even supposed to do in here while we wait? Read a magazine? You're serious? Ugh. Fine. Guess it's better than watching the damn dryers spin forever. Give me that. Add. Add. Add? Why are there so many goddamn ads? I thought this was supposed to be a magazine, not a damn book of ads. Seriously, that was literally 14 pages of ads before I got to any actual content. Yeah, that bothers me. I don't want to look at stupid ads. Who cares if they're pretty? They're a waste of my time. Just like sitting in this stupid laundry room. Ugh. Look, I'm not trying to yell at you or whatever. I'm just irritated about being stuck in here. I have homework I'm supposed to be doing. Hey, did you bring your phone in here? You did? Oh, hell yeah. Whose numbers do you have? No, you've got to call someone that Raccoon Eyes isn't expecting us to call. So, not Kirishima or Pikachu or Tape Arms. <sighs> Deku? Really? Fine. Call him if you have to, then. I don't care. Is it ringing? Good. Well? What's he saying? What? Put him on speakerphone. Deku, what the hell do you mean you can't come let us out? Hold on. Raccoon Eyes did what? You're shitting me. She sent out a goddamn group text. So our entire class knows she locked us in here and none of you are coming to help us? Oh no, you just think you're sorry now, Deku. When I get out of here, I'll kick your ass so hard you'll be back in middle school, you shitty nerd. And then you'll know what it means to be really sorry. Ugh. Somebody let us the hell out of here already! This is seriously pissing me off! Calm down? How the hell am I supposed to calm down? Raccoon Eyes locked us in here, and our whole class knows, but nobody's doing anything about it. How are you not pissed about this? You're always so calm all the time. I don't know how you do it. Yeah, I... I like to be in control of the situation. Guess that's the difference between us. I don't like not having a handle on what's happening. It makes me... irritated. <sighs> I don't know why I'm telling you this. I'm sure you don't want to sit here and listen to me talk about this stupid shit. You... You do? Why? Yeah, I guess we are friends. You and Kirishima are the only two whose names I bother to remember, so I guess it means something or whatever. Don't get weird about this, but I respect you both. A lot. You're both strong, driven. And you're good fighters. I know you can take whatever I throw at you and then some. It's just... Good to know that I don't have to hold back with you two. That I can be myself or... Whatever. Yeah. Pretty much as far back as I can remember, people have always told me that I was too angry and aggressive. Too mean. So what? I'm brutally honest and I don't give a shit about what other people think. Not my fault they can't handle it. You know, growing up, people said nobody would like me because I wasn't ladylike. Yeah, because I was too loud and bossy and proud about how strong I am. <laughs> Though they called it arrogance. Maybe if I was a guy, they'd just see it as confidence. 
misogynistic assholes. Whatever. If they're so intimidated by me that they're going to try to bring me down to their level, they aren't worth my time. I won't let anyone look down on me. Especially not losers like that. I'm a thousand times better than them. You and Kirishima, though. You two aren't intimidated by me. You treat me like an equal. And you two just... get me. Like other people never have. It's... nice. I guess. Huh? Well, yeah. Of course we care about what you think. What? Have people not cared about that before? That's shitty. What you think matters. What you want matters, too. You shouldn't let people step all over you. I certainly don't. Well, when someone tries to push you around, you push back. That's when they know you're a threat, and they won't screw with you again. Has someone been messing with you? Look at me. Has someone been messing with you? Like hell, it's not a big deal. If someone's messing with you, tell me. I'll help you out. I know Kirishima and the extras will too. Look, I'd rather get in trouble for helping you deal with a bully than for exploding a stupid couch. So it's fine. Just tell me. Seriously? That nut from Class 1B? Ugh. Should have figured. I don't know what his deal is with our class. If he wants to pick a fight, then he should have picked it with me. I'd gladly kick his ass. <laughs> but he went after you because he knows you don't want to start trouble. Damn coward. Once we get out of here, we're going to tell the extras about this, all right? And then we're all going to go have a talk with that psycho. I bet if Big Hands is around, she'll knock him out into next week. Which he would absolutely deserve. Of course I'll help you. You're my friend, aren't you? Friends do this sort of shit. And besides, I'm not going to sit on my ass when someone's hurting you. I wouldn't be able to forgive myself if I did. Yeah, you're... kind of important to me, or whatever. So if anybody messes with you, they're going to have to deal with me too. Uh, yeah, well... You're welcome. Hey, are those your clothes in the dryer over there? No? Hold on one second. Ha! Just what I thought. Raccoon Eyes forgot her laundry in here again. And would you look at that? The stupid jacket she always wears is in here, too. Hey, send a message to our group chat, would you? Tell Raccoon Eyes that she has exactly five minutes to get her ass down here and open that door. Or all her clothes, including her dumb jacket, are getting scorched. And that's a promise, not a threat. What'd she say? Ha! Knew that would get her. What? Oh, you've got to be shitting me. There's actually a spider in here? Quit screaming and give me your magazine. Obviously, I'm going to kill the spider with it. Look, it's full of ads, so it's not like it matters anyway. Are you going to kill it? Then stop arguing and just give me the damn magazine. Die, you damn spider! Die! 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 Uh, got it. Raccoon Eyes wasn't lying. That was a big-ass spider. Yeah, it's dead now. Don't worry. Told you I'd help you if someone was messing with you, didn't I? That applies to spiders, too. Psh, you're welcome. It's no big deal. No. I'm going to go stand by the door. 
because I'm going to scream at raccoon eyes the minute she opens it. That's why. Because it'll scare the shit out of her, which she absolutely deserves for locking us in here. Glad you agree. Now come on. It's time for us to get her back. <laughs> huh? I... Glad you're my friend, too. Yep. Quit being so goddamn mushy and let's go.